Let's take a look at question 6. According to the author of Passage 2, what do novelists and scientists have in common? And according to the author, this phrase here tells me that this is an explicit meaning question. We're looking for something that the author actually says in the passage. So I'm going to look for where the author mentions novelists and scientists in the passage. Then I'll see what the author says they have in common, and then I'll take that information back to the choices as my prediction and look for a match. Note that I'm not even trying to look at the choices yet. I just want to make my own prediction in my own words. Let's go. So as I was reading this passage, I flagged this part of the paragraph here because I surveyed the questions beforehand, but I could just scan the passage for the word novelist, although that may be a bit more time consuming. But there we are on line 70, novelists, read lots of novels. Okay, let's read this in context. I'll start up here. Accomplished people don't bulk up their brains with intellectual calisthenics, they immerse themselves in their fields. Novelists read lots of novels, scientists read lots of science. Okay, so what do novelists and scientists have in common? They immerse themselves in their fields. I think it's really as simple as that. Let's go back to our choices and find a match. So, according to the author of Passage 2, what do novelists and scientists have in common? A. They take risks when they pursue knowledge. Is that similar to they immerse themselves in their fields? No, it doesn't match. And the author doesn't say that in the passage. B. They are eager to improve their minds. No match, even though this sounds plausible. This isn't in the passage, and it doesn't match our prediction. Choice C. They are curious about other subjects. No match there. And no mention of similar things in the passage either. They become absorbed in their own fields. Yes, that's it. That's our match. The author literally says that. We saw it. This is a great example of how important it is to set aside those options that might make sense or sound reasonable, but aren't supported directly by the text. Look, it stands to reason that novelists and scientists are curious people who want to improve their minds and learn about things outside their areas of expertise. But that's not what the author explicitly said in the passage, and that's what we have to keep our focus on. Always choose the option that has direct evidence in the passage to support it. Good luck out there. You've got this.